Hey, Stolen Cousins, you already know what time it is. Horror Story Animations. I am our scary tales. Get with it or get going. Okay. <laughs> grab your blanket, grab some water, grab a blunt, and let's get into the scary story. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys for supporting the videos. I appreciate you guys so, so, so much. I keep saying let's get into it, but you know, always gotta throw some love and thanks back and appreciation back because I remember when interaction was low interaction is still low but i have you know my stolen cousin who comments on every video you know so i have people that have said you know they appreciate seeing another black woman just relax in the comfort of her own home bonnet blanket hoodie you know and just watch horror stories so those are the things that keep me going guys and now, <laughs> officially, let's get into it. TikTok horror stories. It's like a fucking oh, person no. walking by really fucking fast. My apartment's getting darker. I need to turn on all the lights. Like, I'm the, uh, I'm scared. I'm not this skilled to just put a random looking being really fast behind me. Nobody here. And I have guns, so. If you're in here, I have guns! You know, I have loved to dance Good. since I was a little girl. In fact, <laughs> my mother used to tell everyone how much she had fun seeing I spent a lot of the day dancing and... A while ago, months after I moved in with my boyfriend, I was fired from my work. So what? I was going through a difficult time when a new social network, TikTok, began to go viral. Soon, I realized a very important part of the content people uploaded, dances. Mm -hmm. To clear my mind, I decided to have fun by publishing dances on TikTok. Mm, what I hadn't expected was the result. My posts had many visualizations and comments. Soon, I started winning followers, and I became well-known on the network. All that became part of my day-to-day. -day. In fact, I took on the goal of publishing at least four times a week. That day, a Thursday, was one of the moments when I always recorded my dances. From time to time, I liked to read the comments, so at nighttime, after posting, I began to do it. That was when I noticed something strange. Are you still trying to scare us? I wasn't able to understand it at first, still. so I continued reading. Should I be scared? It makes me laugh. I mean, it's very obvious. What did they mean? She only does it for the views. I can't believe she fell so low. That comment oh. had several answers, which I decided to read. What do you mean? Look at the window. Those simple words gave me a bad feeling, which was due to a simple reason. I hadn't put anything in the window. Nervous, mm. I watched my TikTok carefully. Everything seemed normal. I even began to think that these comments were a simple joke, until, suddenly, by a small space between the curtains, a woman's face appeared. Mm. My heart began to beat quickly. I immediately checked my other posts. It seemed that she was only there on Thursdays. I was beginning to hyperventilate when the door of the room opened, which scared me. Lewis, my boyfriend, had just oh. arrived from work. Oh, well, sir, swing it Hi, babe. There. When he saw me, the smile erased from his face. Oh, babe? Are, are you okay? I, mm -mm. I don't know. What happened? He approached to sit next to me on the couch. I was checking Show the comments em. and... Did they tell you something bad? You Don't listen to them, babe. You're the best. Boy, Besides, listen. It's not that. There's a woman. A woman? Where? 
At first, I thought it was a joke, but, uh... Every Thursday, a woman appears in my TikTok, watching me through the window. What? Look! I showed Lewis my cell phone. Keep looking at the window. When an expression of concern and anger formed on his face, mm. I knew he had seen her. Obviously, I didn't ask her to do that. I don't even know her. What are we gonna do, Lewis? Someone is harassing me. I'm terrified. He grabbed one of my hands to capture my attention. Everything will be fine, babe. We will increase security. I'll put cameras, okay? We will identify her. Okay. In the next few days, Lewis changed the locks and put cameras outside the house, but it didn't make me feel any better. The paranoia had flooded me. Mm. One day, I took a screen capture of one of my videos at the moment she could be seen. I started to sweat as soon as I watched her more closely. Even if the image quality was not too good, her eyes and the sick smile she had on her face made me very nervous. By the time the week passed and it was Thursday again, I felt terrible. I was not sleeping well, and I was so scared that I had nausea. My love, I'd really like to stay today so I can take care of you. I appreciate it, honey, but you can't miss work for this. <sighs> I don't like the idea of you being alone here. What, what if you invite someone? They're working. <sighs> okay, well, call me you if something that happens. As you know? soon as he left, I locked all the doors and windows of the house. Then I went to my room and laid down in bed. I tried to distract myself, but it wasn't possible. I could only think about that woman. The cameras that Lewis had placed had an application so I could see them directly from my cell phone. Without being able to avoid it, I started watching them. But time passed and nobody appeared. At some point, I fell asleep. Mm. I was woken up by a distant sound. I was so mm. sleepy She's not that I didn't the window react until a few seconds after her. listening to it. Mm. Huh? I got up from the bed and went to the door. The sound, which seemed like some kind of bang, was constant. Nervous, I grabbed my cell phone and looked at the cameras. My breath caught. It was that woman hitting the window with her right fist. Mm. Even though I was terrified, I took a deep breath and texted Lewis. She was probably just a hater who wanted to annoy me. She would get scared and go easily, so while I dialed the emergency number on my cell phone, I left the bedroom and walked to the living room window. I could see the woman through a small gap between the curtains. She stopped when she realized I was there. Sky! Up close, I could tell that her appearance no. was strange. She looked as if she hadn't slept in weeks. She was skinny and had a fake smile that made me shiver. I showed her my cell phone. Go away, or I'll call the police. Really? Will you? My hand trembled. Why did it seem like she didn't care? I... I'm not kidding. So I know what you've been doing. Been I have cameras. I'll call the police. The smile faded from the woman's face. She stared at me blankly. Go! <laughs> I flinched. Mm. What was she laughing about? I don't give a shit. Suddenly, she took a hammer out of one of her pants pockets and, and broke the her window. I had to react quickly. I covered my face and fell to the ground. When I saw her again, she was in front of me. You're so beautiful. What? And Ew. thin. You're perfect. I've tried to be like you, but I can't. Don't you think about how others might feel? You're selfish. You rub it in our face how perfect you are. I, I don't... I want to be like you. From another of her pants pockets, she pulled out a blade. So you'll have to give me your face. <laughs> oh, God. Don't, don't come any closer. As she continued, I couldn't react. 
I couldn't even move. When Why I not? closed my eyes, I felt a sharp pain on my face. Oh, tongue. you just and closed your eyes so I she could cut your damn face off. Siren. Sky? That sick woman was arrested when she was found like that, inside my house, attacking me. I couldn't keep living there, so we moved to a remote area. Mm -mm. Still, I have never felt safe again. I've always been a very exceptional person, but that doesn't mean I don't like horror. My boyfriend and I spent every night watching paranormal videos, but while he was watching ghosts moving objects, I was watching threads and YouTubers desperate for attention. The more time passed, the more I became convinced that the paranormal didn't exist. But sometimes, things happen to us that are so strong that we can no longer turn our backs on the truth. It all happened one Sunday night. That day, I invited some friends to play Ouija, hoping to find a ghost or at least have a few laughs. The it's game was progressing game. normally until I had the idea to let go of my friend's hands and take out my cell phone to try Ghost Detector, a new TikTok filter, to see ghosts. What the hell are you doing, Gina? You can't leave during a ghost session, are you crazy? Hey, hey, calm down. I just wanted to get my cell phone out. Give me your hands, I'll do it later. No, you can't go back, you already quit the game. Ugh, whatever. While they were still playing, I took out my cell phone and applied the filter. But what I expected happened. The TikTok filter didn't catch anything. My friends told me that since I left the circle, the ghost stopped playing with us, but I just mm. laughed and ignored them. A whole day went by and I had already forgotten about the night before. I had just come back from work and I went back to my apartment oh. very tired. No, you're not I was ready to throw myself on the bed. But in the darkness, I saw a black silhouette sitting on the bed. Nice try, babe, but the door lock isn't forced and I'm on the ninth floor. I didn't panic right away. I was convinced that man was Dario, my boyfriend. He likes to play pranks on me like that, and they never work out well. I turned on the light, laughing, <laughs> but my smile was instantly erased and changed to a face of confusion. Mm. There was absolutely nothing there. What? Get up out I'm of there. I'm sure I saw someone. As if in response to my comment, the light turned itself off and the shadow reappeared. Only now, it was standing still facing my direction. I began to breathe heavily and press the switch again and again in you vain. You know the light was just the on. The shadow didn't move closer or farther away, but I felt that with every second that passed, I was closer to something terrible happening to me. Yeah, because you just want to stand there and just leave. Suddenly, the light came on and the shadow disappeared again. And that's why you don't touch no damn Ouija board. Them demons come back to your house. For fuck's sake, Dario! Hi. Hey, babe. I just wanted to check that you got home. Oh, do you still want to call me from the computer and watch a movie while you eat? Dario, I need to go to your house. Now. Yeah, of course. What, what happened to you? Nothing. I'm fine. I'll be at your house in 20. I ran to his house. It was already dark, but for some reason, I felt safer running in the street than in my own house. Mm. When I met him, I explained everything. He didn't seem to believe me, but we spent the night together at his house, and that. we didn't talk about it anymore. The next day, I didn't have to work, so I decided that I was going to go back to my house when he went to work. Are you sure about this, babe? You can stay with me for as many nights as you want. If not, I, I can come with you. No, I want to go back alone. Sooner or later, you'll have to leave, and I can't let that fear get the better of me. But if there's something there... There's nothing there. I just got scared because of last night, and my head did the rest. Well, yesterday, you seemed very convinced. 
Do you think there are ghosts? Yes, I don't know. I'm, I'm not as skeptical as you are, and you know that. Relax, babe. I'll be fine. I just have to be in a different mindset. When Dario left, I walked him to work and went back to my house. Part of me expected to find furniture destroyed, chairs flying, and a ghost waiting for me. But when I turned on the light, everything was just as I left it. I turned the light on and off, but nothing was there, so I relaxed and let the day go by. I threw myself into bed, very sleepy, and started watching TikTok videos to pass the time. After a while, I closed my eyes, but when I opened them again, something was wrong. My body stopped working. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't move. Sleep paralysis. As I tried to regain control of my body, I saw a shadow slowly approaching me. Its steps were slow and intimidating. I made a desperate effort to move, but nothing worked. I was at the Just mercy of eyes. the shadow. Suddenly, a loud noise sounded, and the shadow pointed its face toward it. It was my cell phone, which was on top of me with the TikTok screen glowing. Mm. Suddenly, I woke up from the worst sleep paralysis I had ever had in my life. Fuck! Fuck! I haven't had sleep paralysis for ten fucking years! Why does it have to come back right now? Looking at the cell phone, TikTok was open. At that moment, I guessed that a loud video had played and had just snapped me out of my sleep paralysis. I took a deep breath, trying to calm down, and grabbed my cell phone to continue watching TikTok until, suddenly, a terrible idea occurred to me. I was sure that everything that was happening was a product of my imagination, and I needed to check it out. I went to the TikTok option to make videos and searched for the ghost detector filter. When the filter was applied, the camera was still pointed at my bed, so I pulled it up. As I looked at the cell phone screen, I couldn't believe my eyes. The filter had covered the whole house with human figures. There were at least 20 figures. With my hand shaking, I closed TikTok and opened it again. This had to be a mistake. It couldn't be real. I opened the application and looked at the screen again. <laughs> As if my scream had awakened something in the house, the lights went out from one second to the next. I wanted to get up and run, but something grabbed me by the hair and started dragging Not me all over the house, throwing me against all the walls. I managed to stand up and run to the door, and as I opened it, I felt a stabbing pain violently mm. running down my back. I opened the door and ran desperately toward Dario's house. I entered, terrified. I still had his keys in my pocket. I cried disconsolately on my way to the bathroom to see what was causing so much I'm pain in my back. That damn Ouija board. When I looked at my back in the mirror, I discovered a huge scratch that was tearing my shirt and running down my back. When Dario came home from work, I told him everything. And when he saw that huge, inhuman scratch, he believed me. You didn't even shower? I never set foot in that house again. Dario went with his friends during the day to pick up my things. They all still tell me how scared they were as they felt an intense cold and a horrible aura surrounding that one-room apartment. Since I moved in with Dario, everything has been great. It's been several weeks now, and I haven't had any encounters with those shadows. Today, I can say that I don't feel haunted anymore, and I can finally live happily. Mm -mm. I say it's like you know sometimes they say it's not the house that's i'm not haunted, fond of you. social media platforms but when my friend nathan showed me this man. tiktok account oh. i got really creeped out it was a lazy wednesday afternoon and we were standing in the school corridor making plans for a party over the weekend my friends were busy chatting when nathan pulled me aside his face was all what? excited dude you have got to see this 
He played a TikTok video, and the screen flashed with a pair of bare feet hanging upside down from the ceiling. Um. It took me a second to realize there was something wrong with them. Whoa. Wait, who is that? And, and why are the feet so pale? That's a mannequin. Well, why is it chained upside down? Shh. Just, just watch. Whoever was recording it slowly tilted the camera upside down, and the entire mannequin got revealed. It had a partially melted face, as if someone had blowtorched them. It was dressed like an IT employee, That's a white friend? full sleeve shirt paired with khaki trousers, but they were filled with big blood stains. And suddenly, the screen turned black and the video ended. What kind of sick content is this? I found this account last night while surfing through random videos. No one knows who's behind these videos. But I'm telling you, dude, this is some freaky shit. Tell me the name of this account. It's Spite2022. Don't watch these videos before you go to sleep. <laughs> Nathan walked away, and Nathan, the nightmare began. What type of shit are you into, bro? Within the next few days, the entire school started talking about this crazy TikToker named Spite. All of his videos showed mutilated mannequins dressed like human beings, with blood smeared on their body. This one particular video gave me chills. Like all his other videos, this also featured a mannequin, dressed like a teenage girl tied to a chair, placed in a dark room. A medium-sized bucket can be seen hanging right over her head, and someone pulls the string, making the bucket empty its contents over the mannequin. Mm -mm. Some kind of animal blood mixed with animal remains, like tripes and intestines, covered the mannequin. It was horrible to watch. While many commented, Gross, what the hell is wrong with you? Are you sick? And things like that. There were also some people who expressed their enjoyment watching these sick videos. There was this one comment where some user said how much fun it will be to watch a mannequin melt in a tub of acid. Three days later, Spite2022 posted a video where a mannequin of a little boy was shown melting in a drum of acid. People started talking about how Spite reads the comments with great attention. It was terrifying to see how people made special demands on his TikTok videos. Chop it into pieces and then soak it into the blood. Burn them all! Rip its clothes off and beat it with a hammer. I was pretty disturbed after seeing these comments, and kids in my school just wouldn't stop talking about Spite. Some said he escaped from an asylum. Some said he's practicing being a serial killer. And some said he's just doing it for the views. As if his name wasn't enough to describe him. I came home that day and took a long shower. I live with my dad, but being the county sheriff, he's pretty much busy all the time. He comes home just before dinner, and those are the few hours I get to spend with him, talking about life and everything. So, this one Thursday night, he brought takeout on his way home, and we sat down to eat while watching a football game. I was kind of messing with my food, just circling the spoon on the plate and barely eating, when my dad asked, Is everything alright, Bobby? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, yes. You know, you can tell me anything. We both stared at each other for a few seconds, and then I finally said it. Uh, there's this guy on TikTok everyone is talking about. What's up with him? He's a sick dude. He's posting uh, torture videos all day. What? Torture videos? How come no one reported that? Well, because he isn't torturing humans. Well, in that case, they should go to the animal rights department. It's equally wrong to- No, Dad! He, he isn't torturing any living thing. <sighs> Sorry, I, I'm not getting it. He tortures mannequins and posts videos on TikTok. Mannequins? That's weird. No law in the world can convict someone for torturing mannequins, so the conversation with my dad about Spite ended there that night. But even though I told him, I still couldn't sleep. I woke up late and had to leave in a hurry. It was the last day of school before the holiday, and everyone was busy applying for summer internships. I was planning to do the same when I realized I left my documents at home. I told Nathan to go on with his application, and I went back to get the documents. It was two in the afternoon when I reached home. As I went to unlock the main door with my key, I found it open already. Getting in, a cold shiver ran down my spine. 
I could smell something burning inside the house. Oh, oh well, no, it's your dad? Hazard, I quickly went in the direction from which the smell was coming. It was the basement. I could hear soothing music down there, accompanied by that burning smell. As I tiptoed and peeked in, Bro, it's your dad. Dropped. Three half-burnt mannequins were lying on the floor. Someone set them on fire and then poured water on top of them to put the fire out. The smell of burnt plastic choked my nostrils. A camera was set up on the corner to record this, and that's when the ground beneath my feet swept away. My dad came out from the dark corner, wearing a gas mask that looked unbelievable with his sheriff outfit. The shock was so intense that I called out to him. Dad? He suddenly realized that I was there too, and he froze. He took off the gas mask with trembling hands and said, Bobby, uh, wh what, 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 what are you doing here? I'm trying to get some paperwork. So, what the fuck are you doing 2022 here? 2022 is none other than my father? Look, Bobby, I can explain this, okay? Explain what? That you're a sick psycho? It's not like I'm torturing living human beings. Stop okay. judging me, okay? We all have dark desires. There are numerous creeps out there who are way so. more dangerous than me. What do you get from all this? Give me one good reason behind this insanity! I can give you two, son. We need money for your college, and the sheriff's job doesn't pay well in this small town. Uh. I just earned a hundred thousand followers in just one week, Bobby! Please, please let it be our secret, okay? What's the second reason? The insanity stops me from hurting someone alive. His eyes widened and his uh. face changed. He looked scary and deranged at the same time. Someone I alive, you mean me? Saying, so, so, you do want to hurt people. He ran to me at full speed and grabbed my t-shirt. It happened so quickly that I couldn't do anything. He came close to me, looked me in the eye, and grinned. You better shut your ass up, This Bobby. is why I'm asking to keep this a secret. So that I don't hurt anyone. Also, it's easy money. <laughs> don't you want to get out of this town, Bobby? Yes. Yes. Yes, uh -huh. I, I do. That's my boy. Now leave. I have to clean this mess. I'll see you at dinner. <laughs> uh, okay. I slowly turned around to walk away from all this when my dad asked again. You're not going to tell anyone that I'm spite, right, Bobby? I... I won't, I swear. Hey, hey... You don't have to be scared of me. I'm not going to hurt you or anyone. I promise. <laughs> Silly boy. Since then, four months have gone by. The rumors are still very much alive. And I just refrain myself whenever someone brings up Spite 2022. All I want is to leave this town and my psycho dad once I graduate. Till then... I'll pretend like I know nothing. I sleep with a knife under my pillow these days, just in case. Good. If you ever come to Nashville and land in this small town called Leaper's Folk, never ring the doorbell of the house located near the paddy fields. Especially not in the afternoons. That's when my dad makes his TikTok videos. Though he promised he won't hurt anyone, mm. I can't guarantee it. Look at you, Bobby, trying to save people. Good shit. That's crazy. Mm. That was a good one. I liked it, so let's like the video. <laughs> Who would have knew it was his daddy? We did because we guessed it, but still. Out here burning mannequins. Talk about some. You can't arrest nobody for burning no mannequins. Once he said that, I would have known it was him on the couch. So, number three was my favorite. Comment down below. Let me know yours. Um. Yeah, and that's it. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with someone that you want to um, bring into this family. I appreciate you guys.
for the support. Don't mind me. I'm at my room hot because I have a cold that I'm trying to get over. So I'm trying to sweat this cold out. But other than that, I love you guys. And bye.